Uh, last year we did about three million. Three mil. Gross. On an average month, I'd say gross revenue we're probably doing about three hundred fifty thousand. What up guys, my name is Snoo J. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Please like the video, it helps us out. But anyway, today we're gonna meet a gentleman by the name of DeVidge. His company makes millions of dollars by brand partnerships. Honestly, he's given me a lot of brand deals. So I wanna know, and I know you guys wanna know too, how the whole operation works, how he makes his bread, how he got started. Let's get the video started. I'll tell you this, I have no idea where we're at, but we here. Let's go. Let's go meet the guy. There he is. My boy Snooge. There he is with the Balenciagas on. The man. Welcome, welcome bro. The legend What's behind good, all the money in the world. So for the people that don't know who you are, right? Yeah. Who I'm are trying. you? I'm What's trying. your name? Yeah, bro. And what do you do for work? My name is Davidge. Uh, formerly on HBO Max's show, FY Island. I own and operate Division Media, which is an influencer uh, marketing agency. We do experiential and paid media for some of the biggest brands in the world. Obviously, we do all the Snooge brand deals, or most yes. of them. But a lot of them, yes, yeah. So a lot of the money I get is because of this guy right here, so. You're welcome. Thank you, You're yes, welcome. thank you. And uh, yeah, bro, just making music. You know, I just did a tour in India. So this is my humble abode, man. Okay. I have a very strict morning routine, so like, Usually pop up 5 to 6 a.m. Uh, I don't Damn. Work. Yeah, early. What time do you sleep? 10. 9.30 to 10. So I get my 7 to 8, 7 8 hours, which okay. is crucial. Yeah. Pop up. I don't use my phone in bed. I don't work in bed. This bed is purely for cuddling with my cat. Oh, what? I did not know there's a cat under the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> the first three hours of the day, like, I don't do any work at all. It's actually, I feel like I need to have myself fully centered. And if I'm constantly paying attention to what everybody else wants, then... I'm gonna be mentally f Yeah. So I need to get my head right, I need to get my body right. So I work out, I meditate, do yoga, hit the beach, I jump okay. in the ocean. So I got my first three hours of my routine and then by 8.30 is when I kind of start my actual like. Yeah, so the first couple hours is just like you, just for you, me, bro. for your mental, spiritual, physical. We like that. As we're walking, right, uh, yeah. you know, just to give some people some reference. How much do you make? Per year, per month. <laughs> just an estimate, you know, just for, well, this look, is a finance channel, you know? Look, man, there's a, uh, there's the difference between how much I make personally versus what my business is. Okay, what does your business make? Bro, you know, it's a good question, right? Like, there's a big difference between how much I make personally versus how much my company makes. How much does your company make? Well, like gross revenues? Uh, last year we did about three million. Three mil? Gross, yeah. Wow, and this is just the brand partnerships? Just brand deals. The year before, we did 440,000. Wow, what an improvement. Crazy, right? Yeah, three mil, bro. I don't know if I can say how much we'll make this year, but you know, it'll be five. Yeah, five. Yeah, so about five, about five. Five mil. Hopefully. You that's didn't get that on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure all the viewers are now like, they're like curious, like, wait, what? Brand partnerships, what is that? We'll get yeah. into it, we'll get into it. Five to it, side to side, she wild with it. We'll come in here. Usually about 6.30 a.m. Okay. And uh, this is where, you know, it's 9.30 a.m. Eastern. So people are awake doing business, but on the West Coast, people are still sleeping. So I got just time to myself. It's peaceful. So, you know, we'll smack chest and tries. We'll hit, you know, leg day. Obviously my legs are looking. Hit leg day? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I like the gym though. This is a dope vibe. You got the Stairmaster overlooking the view and everything. Yeah, we got the Stairmaster. You know, I, I'm usually doing like. Oh, shit. I didn't even know it was this big, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of snuck up on me. It's a mini equinox. Okay, so gym. So after the gym, you come over here to this like little sanctuary. Yeah. So how long you be working? So right here, you're working just brand, like your, 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 your brand deals and all that, your partnerships is just for how many hours? I'd say 8.30 in the morning till probably 4.30. Okay. Yeah, so you're just on the call, yeah. connecting. It's calls, emails, texts, and LinkedIn. A lot of time on LinkedIn, because that's where all the brands live. Describe like one of those brand deals, like let's just say so-and-so, this company, 
how much like do you get off of it and like and then you have to just you have to kind of give it to like your influencers or how does yeah. that work so like division media we don't like represent talent right like we're not managers we're not talent agents yeah. we're simply providing brands a service it's like walmart selling cookies like they're selling cookies to customers right so for us it's like we don't we love the talent but there's a surplus of talent but what we really care about is the brand relationships yeah 100%. and so now we're our business is becoming you know, how do we become the agency of record for mm. these brands? So, like, how do we become the exclusive agency for, like, Walmart or, like, Nerf to, like, do all their influencer marketing? That makes sense. Okay. So I that's where my head is at. Let's, let's have a see, bro. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. talk a little more. Yeah. I want to pick your brain. All right. Let's pick this guy's brain apart, okay? Because I know y'all are curious, and I'm definitely curious. George. Anyway, for example, okay. I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For example. For example, okay. So let's let's just use Balenciaga, right? Mm -hmm. So you're like, hey, Balenciaga. You call up Balenciaga, the head or whoever's in charge of marketing. Like, hey, give me three hundred thousand dollars and I'll get you influencers. Yeah. And then you get a cut off of that three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, we take the service fee. So you know, if they give us three hundred grand, we're not just gonna give the three hundred grand to influencers. Obviously, I gotta pay my expenses and my team. So we'll keep, call it 15% or 20% of that budget and then allocate the rest. Got you. So 15, 20% goes to your team and yourself. It's my business, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's very interesting. That's, I like that. Like, I might have to start with myself. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. There's, how, how do you deal with competition? Because I know you have competition out there. Like, what, is that um, word, what does that word mean? I know there's enough money in the world for everyone, right? Yeah. And it's just, I guess it's just about execution at that point. So yeah. it's like, you know, there's a lot of, there's, there's other companies there that do what you do, or trying to do what you do. There's a lot. So does it ever like get in the way or they never really? Nah, man, you, what, you know, there's, it's a good question. There's a lot of, there's a few agencies that I think are at the same level as us. Yeah. The Raymond agency times 10. Um, and I found that those guys that are leading Ben and Alden who run those agencies, I'm like, these guys are crushing. Like to anybody else, they'd be competition. Yeah. But what did I do? I brought them in closer. Yeah. I'm making them more money, you know, putting more dollars in their pocket. And that has come back tenfold to me because it's like, they see that and they're like, yo, we want to keep Divij around, let's throw him bread. So like, you got to make your competition, you got to bring them close. You got to make them your friends, yeah. that's what you're saying. Exactly. How long have you been doing this for? Three, about three and a half years. What got you, what got you started? That's, that's, my, that's like, Funny that's a good story. question. I actually used to manage um, a prankster called Human Nuri. I, th I seen him. I seen him on YouTube prior. Yeah, he's, he's still doing it. Or? Nah, he stopped. Two men stopped. Uh, but he was the OG prankster. He had like 10 million subscribers on YouTube. Okay. And he was like the guy that started Gold Digger pranks. Right, right. I seen a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. Sh so I used to manage him, and that's kind of what we did. A, our first deal was Manscaped in 2019. I see. Are you able to provide like just estimated numbers on that type of deal? Got to a point where we're doing probably. 50 deals a month, 50 to 100 deals a month, yeah. How much money are you, would you say your business makes per month? Revenue? Yeah, because we already know it's three million a year. I know you guys want to do the math, but just for the ones that don't want to do the math. On an average month, I'd say gross revenue, we're probably doing about 350,000. How do you reach out to like yeah. the top guy? You so know what I mean? a funny story, man. So I, and I like to tell it because people know about it, but um, you guys know Mike Malak? Yeah, 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 I've seen him. Yeah, so Mike did a, a partnership with Blue Chew. I uh, had seen Impulsive, Logan's podcast, and I saw this Mike guy, and I noticed he was dating Lana Rhodes, the yeah. star, yeah. you know, who I love. And in my mind, I was like, I was like, he should have like a pill sponsor. Yeah. And so I, I didn't even have a business at the time. This was right after the Who Man deal. I uh, cold emailed Blue Chew, and I was like, hey man, you don't know me, but I represent Mike. I didn't even know, Mike didn't know who I was. I yeah. didn't know Mike. Huh. And I was like, he's dating a lot of roads, so you guys should do a deal. I got a call from them in 10 minutes. Oh, really? And yeah, and they were like, we love Mike. Like, let's go. Oh, wow. So now I had a couple, a good amount of money as an offer, but I'm like, I don't know who, I don't know, I don't know Mike. Like, I need to get in contact. Yeah. So I called DM'd him on Instagram, sent him an email, and within five minutes, he emailed me back. He was like, I love Blue Chew. Let's go. How much, how much was the deal? Are you able to say? Can't say that. Can you say like a, a range? Like it could be a hundred thousand off. It's yeah, it's between a hundred grand to a million, somewhere in there. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm gonna say 500,000. <laughs> That's crazy. To, with respect to Mike. I yeah, 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 for sure. No, I respect um, it. 
that partnership became one of the biggest YouTube partnerships. You know, you, we, me and Mike would be at the club and people would bring out a blue chew sign. Yeah. And it's like, Big Mike loves blue chew. Like, it's, it became this massive partnership and that's when the light clicked. And I was like, yo, if I can really build a brand army and like, just take the market by storm, because a big, it's a win-win, because it's like, the brands need influencers, because they have the attention. That is true. And influencers need money, because they got to pay their fucking bills. So yeah. it was like, I built Envision Media as that, that team that has control over this brand space. Yeah, so your, your team, they kind of like, they, they do like the miscellaneous things or they're like reaching out to brands and influencers, right? Like, yes. is, that, is that what they do, their duties or? I think at this point, now that we're three years in, like we have access to pretty much any influencer, right? Like we have access to pretty much any talent because we've built amazing relationships with yeah. managers and agencies. So the missing piece is the brand. So we have a sales team that does a lot of outreach to brands. We have a campaign execution team that once the brand is like, all right, we'll spend the money they actually execute on the okay. campaign. And then we got um, my partner agencies that do our experiential and some of our other services. And then me and my VP, Lulu, shout out to Lulu, um, run the show. Okay, yeah. I like that, man. From operations to, how old, is, how old are you again? I just turned 26. 26, bro. Yeah. Multi-millionaire, pretty much. Don't go that far, bro. I mean, <laughs> in my eyes, you're a multi-millionaire. Killing it, man, doing your thing, it's just like, with today's day and age, man, the internet and, and just like, all you need is just like a laptop and a phone and like yeah. you can make three mil like the vids, bro. And like there's, just with like social media in general, it's crazy. Like just, yeah. you couldn't do this like six, well, six years ago maybe? Not really. Yeah. Not really, you couldn't do this. And it's like, you guys have the power in your hands to like do anything you want and make money at home, bro. Like, Real talk. That is, and it, like, I mean, that's a perfect example of you just like trying things. Like you didn't know it was gonna take you there, right? Like it just kind of like led you to the next yeah. step and then you met this person and you met this person and you called this company and this brand, you got this brand deal and you're like, oh, this could be something. What's crazy, man, which no, not many people know is this is actually my like fifth or sixth business. Oh, really? Yeah, so I've okay. had seven years of failed companies since what? I was- What was the first, what was the first? My first company that I started was surprisemonkey.com. Okay. which was a mystery box company where you'd spend a hundred bucks and you'd get this box in the mail that has products worth at least a hundred bucks. I had a jewelry company. I was making grills, like teeth. Re like, like real? Yeah, yeah like okay. real grills. I have my grill, I should have worn it. Oh. <laughs> okay. uh, I did grills for like Kehlani, like a lot of cool musicians and, and this stuff. This guy's connected, bro. 26 years of life and this guy has so much experience. I feel like an old man, bro, because I, I really just, found business like early and like I just knew that I was built to be an shit. entrepreneur yeah. yeah and so then I had a jewelry company I had I was a realtor tried to sell houses yeah I remember David hit me up and was like yo let's let's get in this uh this this flip right here right and I thought he was just like heavy heavily into like just real estate but um this dude's making more money with his company now versus real estate, which is like, yeah. there's a lot of money to be made in real estate, but it's just, it just shows you like, you don't have to chase the money, right? Like, cause a lot of people do real estate to like just chase the money, but they don't really love doing it. They don't like sales and all that. So you're just, yeah. I feel like you, you're doing something that you love and you enjoy and it's like a space, social media. Cause like you also say you're, you're into music, you're in the entertainment yeah. industry as well. So it's like, it all kind of aligns. It like, comes together, man, yeah, like, for sure. Obviously music. Um, okay. I go by the name Davidge, which is actually just my first one. Here's the Spotify. What's the Spotify? <laughs> this is Davidge Spotify? Okay, yeah. check him out, guys. So I had, you know, records with like Laquel, Young Band. So I've done some cool records and I, I got to open up for Kodak Black, which is crazy. That's insane. Explain that. My boy Yizzo, shout out to Young Yizzo. Um, he just called me one day and I was gonna go to the show and watch it. Yeah. And he called me like two days before the show. He was like, yo, uh, do you wanna perform with this? I was like, what? That's and so crazy. I just showed up and I did it and it was super uncomfortable, but yeah. one of the most rewarding experiences um, ever. My mom was at the show, which is cool. Really? Yeah. But okay, so music, yeah. your companies, what else? Hards.com. Hards.com. I want you to clip this because in five years, I'm telling you right now, Hards.com will sell to one of the major condom companies in the world or sex toy companies for- I believe you. Nine figures. I believe you, you know why? Because of what you're doing now. It will happen. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, 26 years old, killing the game. Is there any 
advice you want to give to the inspired individual, the young individual that wants to do what you do? Yeah. You know, like, what, like is, it, is it a mindset thing? Like, like what's like, just, just give us anything. I got so many things, man. Just one thing. I think don't chase the money. Mm. Like, mm. don't do things for the money because, and don't have regrets, but also like, if you're a family person, be so present when you're with your family. Like, don't be on your phone, don't be multitasking, trying to chase a couple of thousand Gs, like a couple thousand bucks. Really be present with the people that you love because you never know when something bad is gonna happen and that's it, man. Just gotta, gotta be present. So be present, don't chase the money. Yeah. Chase what you love and the money will follow you. Facts. My man, my man. <laughs> That's the wrap. So if they, if you guys want to follow the Vidge, I highly suggest check this stuff out. Plug your IG. Plug whatever you want. Yeah. Just to Spotify at the Vidge, the Vidge Viswani on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. And that's a wrap. Let's go, bro. My, My brother. Man, thank thank you, so you so much. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Make sure you guys like the video. Now we gotta go head to a podcast. We working.